Hello friends. Today we will talk about the environment law. This lecture is presented by ASS Science Foundation, Delhi. As the environment law is important from the exam point of view of NTA, JRF exam, because many question is asked in uh, exams regarding the environment law. So let's start. First, what are the constitutional provision regarding the environment? Schedule 7 of India Constitution deals this constitution, this schedule deal with the division of power between state and union. Three lists are included state list, union list, and concurrent list. State list deal with the subject in which state has legislature of state has power to make law regarding the sub, regarding the subject related to state and in union list your parliament has right to make has power to make the law and in concurrent list which provide uh, Congress lit subject provide powers to both state and central. So, guys, your environment is a subject of concurrent list. Both central and state government has power regarding the environment to make laws to how they protect it from the degradation. Okay. Another schedule is Schedule 4, which deals with the allocation of seats to state in Rajya Sabha. Okay, how many seats of state in Rajya Sabha? This schedule deals with this. Now, important amendment, 42nd amendment, which is also known as mini constitution. It was adopted in 1976. See how to remember the year because in exam mainly they ask the year in a matched form. So basically you have to learn the year given it was adopted and what it, what is it about. So 1976. See to re, uh, remember this 4 plus 2 is 6. So, when did it come? In 1976, what is its amendment was adopted, which is known as the mini constitution. Article 51 provides the fundamental duties of the citizen. Okay. Article 51G. This is very important. This is very important. Article 51G. It deals with the protection of environment. These duties were not compulsory. <coughs> this is important. In the constitution, two article is very important regarding the environment. One is Article 48A and another is Article 51G. These two article deal with the environment subject in the, our constitution. So please remember these articles. It is very important from the exam point of view. 86 amendment which was done in 2002. In this amendment 11th duty was added to deal with the duty of a citizen to ensure primary education for his child with the age of 16 to 14 years. So these are basically the schedules which tell you about the uh, powers. Okay, and this is this article 51 G is very important. This deal with the protection of the environment in the sub state matter. So please remember this article. Mostly they ask in the paper. Next is Directive principle 
state policy it is come under the article 31 to 51 these article important under the constitution under this article mention the this directive principle of state policy so you have to remember the article of some important laws important okay this is nothing these are the principle have to be kept in mind by the state while framing any law directive principle of state policy is based basically based on the state matter this is done for the welfare of the citizen of the state so it is not a binding process not a binding law okay so this is only for the uh, it is not legally binding it is only for the uh, welfare of the citizen uh, while violation of this law the citizen cannot go to the cannot go to the law for asking for justice under only this policy however these principles have to be kept in mind by the state by framing any law however these principles are not legally binding states and citizens cannot go to court of law for violation of any DPSP it is a short form of directive principle of state policy state by state by framing a law in question so just this is a uh, policy they, uh, they included the subject which is important for the welfare of the citizen like providing free environment establishing hospitals educations and what are the duties of citizen towards the environment what are the duties of the state towards the, their people this is only that so that's why it is not legal binding and the people cannot go uh, to court against this violation of this TPS. This is very important Article 48A. It is come by the 42nd Amendment, which is also known as the Mini Constitution, as I earlier mentioned, in 1976. It revealed that state shall endeavor to protect improve the environment and safeguard the forest wildlife the country this article tell that it is the duty of a state to protect and improve the environment and save the, and uh, pro protect the forest and the wildlife of the country so this article tell about the duty of the state the, the duty of the state they have to protect their it's their duty to protect their environment and article 58 58g which i already mentioned is important is a duty of every citizen to protect and conserve the environment the surrounding environment so these two articles, Article 48A and 51G are very important. Okay, so just remember them because mostly in paper they ask which article is related to the subject of environment in our constitution of India. So these two articles deal with the environment. Okay, so remember it.